The Women's History Network was founded in 1991. It was founded by a group of scholars who wanted to promote and advance the cause of women's history. This was because, particularly from the 1970s, feminists had been very active in trying to find their foremothers in history. And so what we are doing really is expanding the research profile of women in the past. So obviously I work in Ireland and part of that is looking at Irish women but it's only a part of my research. More broadly it's looking at display and representation and empire and I think looking at something as specific as gender or as broad as gender really brings together a huge kind of range of people and I'm really looking forward to getting to know everyone. But I was so fascinated by the play that I looked, that I read about the playwright, and then I saw a reference to the playwright being part of the suffrage drama movement, and I thought, what's that? Okay, um, and so that piqued my interest, and I just, it was like following a trail of breadcrumbs that somebody left for you. Well, I think for me, the attractions of Women's History Network, a conference for, 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 for people, must be the opportunity not just to speak, and there's plenty of opportunities to present, but to hear all kinds of papers, to, to dip into all sorts of things that you never thought you might be interested in, and to find links and ideas that um, you wouldn't necessarily come across in the course of your normal work or research and to make connections that go beyond the academy or beyond the area you work in because it is really about networking, it really does bring people together. So it's nice to get a chance to hear people who are really involved in research aspects of their project and especially PhD students who are kind of totally emerged in it and coming up with really exciting new topics. Lots of really stimulating uh, papers going on and also a really nice mix of both academic papers and also a lot of community history going on which is always really, really good to hear. I think the, the quality of the papers the fact that we've got younger scholars getting involved in this area of history of women, young women becoming historians, you need to think of both of those aspects. And I think it shows that the field is alive and kicking, let's say. I've always found women's history conferences to be a very, very supportive environment. And I think particularly maybe for early career scholars or postgraduates, that can be very valuable. I give conferences in, I do conferences in Spain as well, and my Spanish is nothing like as fluent as my English. And again, I've always found that it's the women's history conferences that have provided a really supportive and encouraging um, environment in which you can explore some ideas and exchange ideas with other people. <laughs> This is the 26th year we have held an annual conference and the fact that we're still going, that our membership is nearly 400, and new people are joining, new postgraduate students, some of us are retiring, but the activity still goes on. Thank you.